So during the contempt hearing at the Donald Trump criminal trial, one of Trump's biggest secrets ended up becoming the top story across the world. And it was thanks to Donald Trump's own attorney who brought this up. During the contempt hearing, one of the issues that Justice Mershon wanted to address was Donald Trump's statements about the jury, to which Donald Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, had no good answers to, and Justice Mershon thought that Trump's lawyer had zero credibility. But then Donald Trump's lawyer tried to argue that Donald Trump is being persecuted and he's being mocked by uh, individuals uh, like Michael Cohen, uh, Todd Blanche, Donald Trump's lawyer states, and he stated the following, and this is as um, uh, written down by Adam Klasfeld, who's in the courtroom. Klasfeld explains, Todd Blanche displays a string of exhibits during the contempt hearing of Michael Cohen taunting Donald Trump in tweets and retweets throughout April. Cohen's nickname for him, Von Schitz in Pants, has entered the public record. Donald Trump's lawyer um, went to uh, the, the judge. This is so unfair. Michael Cohen's been calling Donald Trump von Schitzen's pants. So Donald Trump has to respond to that. And that's why Donald Trump is not violating the gag order. So the argument went. But it was Donald Trump's lawyer who mentioned von Schitzen pants, and that quickly became the number one trend across the world. You see, for example, here on X, formerly Twitter, trending hashtag von Schitzen pants is number one trend in the country and in the world. And I want to remind you where that all originated from. And it was actually not a post that was recently by Michael Cohen in April, although Cohen may have posted that a few weeks ago. Um, but one of the things that Cohen uh, did was on the show I co-host with him, Political Beatdown, back in December is when Michael Cohen first coined the term Von Schitz and Pence. I think it's important that we know the origin of it, that it's actually not just from April, like some reporters are saying. It was coined by Michael Cohen last year, last December, during an episode of Political Beatdown. It was this precise moment that Michael Cohen came up with the term von Schitzenpants to refer to Donald Trump. Play this clip. Magic and just bad news, bad things are happening. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It was staring us in the face the whole time, Michael Cohen. It Dude, was you understand staring. when he's going like, eh, eh. Donald Von Schitzenpants. That's what he was doing. He was trying to figure out a way how he can sort of squeeze that sucker out, right? And he's, he's going, eh, eh, eh. It's like, you know, when you, were, you see like your baby when they're constipated. That's what Donald's doing. Can we play that again? And I'll show you the exact moment he lets it go. <laughs> Magic and just bad news, bad things are happening. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right there. Right there. <laughs> now, why was Michael Cohen talking about Von Schitz and Pants back in December of 2023? What had happened then? The Midas Touch Network also broke the news about Donald Trump's disgusting smell. And we had on Adam Kinzinger, former Republican member of Congress, and Kinzinger had been next to Donald Trump and had smelled this putrid scent coming from Donald Trump when they had meetings together as Kinzinger was a Republican member of Congress. And I did the interview with Kinzinger, where Kin and this one went viral, you may remember, where Adam Kinzinger talked about Donald Trump's putrid smell and described it as like armpit and ketchup. Here, play this clip. I'm genuinely surprised how people close to Trump haven't talked about the odor. It's truly something to behold. Wear a mask if you can. Then Donald Trump responded to that and he had his team go after you and say, no, Kinzinger is the one who's smelly. And as Hillary Clinton said, if you could be baited by a tweet, how are you supposed to be expected to handle Vladimir Putin and, and, and other authoritarians? And Donald Trump clearly got baited by your tweet and your post. But let, let's just start with your post, the odor, the stench, the stink. How bad is it? What do you know about that? Yeah, I mean, it's not good. I mean, think about uh, the best way to describe it. I, I've tried to like, so take like armpits, ketchup, uh, like a butt, 
and kind of put it in a blender and makeup and put that all in a blender and that's and, and you bottle that as a cologne that's kind of that um but it's amazing like I, i've been amazed that you know everybody's just kind of like learning about this now but again i think the bigger point is he's a weak human being but look at this he had he had his people respond to me on this by the way they're always unnamed spokesmen because none of them want to put their names even though i think i know who's doing this like they don't want to put their names behind that because they know that their words are going to live forever and uh like my goodness i mean vladimir putin i'm gonna tell you she president she of china they're licking their chops at the idea of another donald trump term because I sat in the Oval Office once when Donald Trump begged a group of us to pull China ZTE out of the sanctions list from the National Defense Authorization Act because he made a personal uh, promise to President Xi because she asked him nicely on the phone. I mean, this is the kind of leader, you know, of the greatest country in the world that we're looking at reinstating. And uh, the odor's the odor. And, you know, I think that needs to stay alive. People need to keep talking about it because he's the kind of guy that would use something like that all the time against other people. He needs a taste of his own medicine. If you thought houseplants were just for decoration, think again. NeoPX from NeoPlants brings science and nature together to create a living, air purifying powerhouse for your home. NeoPX is the world's first plant microbiome system bioengineered to purify the air in your home. Indoor air can be up to five times more polluted than outdoors, mainly due to harmful pollutants called VOCs, or volatile organic compounds, that are constantly emitted indoors from thousands of common household products like furniture, paint, cosmetics, and more. NeoPX was invented by PhD scientists to target three of the most harmful VOCs found in your home and is up to 30 times better than a regular houseplant at fighting indoor air pollution. It is based on five years of research and development to enable NeoPX to capture and recycle VOCs into useful matter like sugar and amino acids. Every month, you just pour the bioengineered formula called Power Drops onto the plant's soil to supercharge NeoPX's air pollution capacity. NeoPX comes with a self-watering planter called the Shell, so you only have to water it every two to three weeks. My existing air purifiers at home make up for a fair amount of my electricity bill, but with NeoPX, I can get clean air with just some sun and water, and it looks great in my home. When you purchase NeoPX, you'll receive six Power Drop pouches, and to celebrate the launch, NeoPlants is offering a seventh pouch free of charge. That's one extra month of pure air. So go to neoplants.com slash Midas, and the code will be applied automatically at checkout. Shipping available within the U.S. and soon to many more countries. That's neoplants.com slash Midas. So if we're really tracing the origin of calling Donald Trump von Schitzenpants, which is now trending uh, through uh, lots of people are writing about it. Again, number one trend. People are saying, von Schitzenpants, what is this name? It started actually with the interview I did with Kinzinger, which then led to an episode of Political Beatdown that I hosted with Michael Cohen, where Cohen then coined the term von Schitzenpants back then, and then he had been using that frequently. I do want to point out, though, that over the past few weeks, Cohen has not been talking at all about Donald Trump. Cohen made a commitment that he would not be talking any further about Donald Trump during the trial, and he's um, met that commitment. He's not said anything else about him. Um, since then. So that was an older post, and that's why I wanted to give you the origin, the genesis of where Von Schitzenpants actually comes from. Here's an article from the Business Insider. Donald Von Schitzenpants has now formally been entered into the public record at Trump's hush money trial. You see some of the various headlines here as well. Business Insider, the one I just read for you. The Daily Beast writes the headline, Donald Von Schitzenpants Dis makes hush money trial debut. Um, Yahoo similar headline slate. Donald Trump attorney Todd Blanche discusses his client Von Schitzenpants. Daily Coast, the news media trying to do Don Von Schitzenpants straight is hilarious. Look, as Ron Filipkowski said, um, just to be clear, it was Donald Trump's lawyer 
who introduced the Von Schittenpans exhibit into this trial. The district attorney never mentioned that, which pretty much proves Donald Trump's lawyers hate him and are sticking it to him at every chance they get. By the way, I think the sketch artists hate Donald Trump as well. Here are some recent photos that the sketch artists take, all, took, although Donald Trump in just some of these photos doesn't look too well either. Um, it should be noted what Donald Trump also posted on Thursday. Pretty weird. He wrote, contrary to the fake news media, I don't fall asleep during the crooked DA's witch hunt, especially not today. I simply close my beautiful blue eyes sometimes, listen intensely, and take it all in. Notice right there, he does not deny anything about his scent, his smell, the Von Schitzenpans name. He's simply trying to deny that he is not falling um, asleep during the trial. I want to give you some additional data points as well. This is when Donald Trump was disgracing the office. He was sitting next to the late, great California Senator Dianne Feinstein. And remember this moment where... Truthfully, the Von Schitzenpans label could have probably been generated or created following this event while Trump was disgracing the office. Remember this moment? Listen carefully. Play the clip. So today we're here in a bipartisan fashion to show leadership in an effort to end the senseless violence. And it, violence, it can be ended. And then that kind of brings us, of course, to yet another viral moment here where, as I reported accurately, as multiple sources were telling me during the beginning of the trial, um, the Von Schitzenpants name was in full effect during the opening days of the criminal trial. Look, I have not, be clear, I have not heard any additional statements. People have been mum on it, but back then um, I heard it from multiple people what was happening as Donald Trump would fall asleep and well, you could play the clip. You, you remember this moment from a few weeks back? Here was our reporting back then. Play this clip. Returning to the court proceedings as well, Maggie Haberman reports that Donald Trump continued to fall asleep during the proceedings as well. Um, and you know, what I'm hearing from my sources as well is that um, you know, and, and I'm hearing from credible sources who know what's going on in the courtroom. And what I'm hearing is, is that, um, t take it for what it's worth, but that Donald Trump is actually farting in the courtroom and that it's very stinky around him. It's a putrid odor in the courtroom and that Trump's lawyers um, are like repulsed by the scent and the smell. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that to be like, oh, 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 buddy, buddy. I'm actually, you know, we have good sources there. And I'm hearing it from actual credible people that as he's kind of falling asleep, he is actually passing gas and that his lawyers are really struggling with the smell. And right here, this is uh, Lisa Rubin, uh, reporter, lawyer. She's doing a great job. She's in the courtroom. She's in the trial. Here's what she's observed of Donald Trump as his lawyers try to give him various methods. Um, they, they try to use various methods to keep him awake. Here, play this clip. Really quickly, if I can, Lisa, your observations on Donald Trump today. Sleeping. Again, sleeping. You know, they have tried a number of different devices. Yeah, yeah sleeping for a lot of it. Um, I would say they've tried a number of different devices to keep Trump awake partially in response or what appears to be in response to collective press corps observations. So, for example, when there are sidebars, an attorney doesn't leave his side anymore because leaving him alone means leaving him to potentially sleep. He has a stack of papers with him at all times now to go through. But neither of those things seem to have protected Trump from his own exhaustion today. More than, you know, more than not, when I looked up to see how Trump was receiving the testimony, Trump was not receiving it at all because his eyes were closed. So folks, as I said at the outset, Donald Trump's, one of Donald Trump's darkest secrets have been revealed during this contempt hearing where Donald Trump's own lawyer brought up the fact that Cohen had called him von Schitzenpants. But I, again, I think it is important that we um, know the origins of this. The interview we did here with Adam Kinzinger, Cohen was responding on political beatdown to that interview. He was observing Donald Trump giving a speech. 
coined the name at that moment back in December of 2023. He's utilized it multiple times since then. Um, he had a post, I think, early on in the trial. He hasn't made any other comments about Donald Trump since then. There's the data point about what Trump was doing at the beginning of trial that we reported here. Von Schitt's and Pants is, again, the number one trend. It was Trump's lawyers who brought it up. And here is Laura Ingraham on Fox. She is not happy with CNN using that nickname. Play this clip. I apologize for oh, this no. update ahead of time. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Todd Blanche, the <laughs> Trump attorney, is specifically reading a post that Michael Cohen made on Twitter on April 22nd and when in which he refers to Donald Trump as Von Schitts and Pants. Anna Bash, I know you want to weigh in on Von Schitts and Pants. <laughs> this is CNN. Where does James Earl Jones go to get his voiceover back? Joining me now. So tell me what you think in the comments below right now. That is where we are at right now. I mean, I've given other deep and thorough analysis of, of the witnesses and Keith Davidson and Donald Trump's statements and how devastating the witnesses are. I wanted to focus this video on that data point. You, use it as you will. I'm Ben Mycellus from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.